thank you, Mr. President. Uh, before I start my presentation, I would like to say uh, thank you to the organizers for inviting me over one more time. It's great to be in Sicily, in Catania, one more time. Um, as uh, you might read from the uh, first uh, slide, uh, I am affiliated actually currently with two universities. One is uh, my home uh, town, my home university, which is Istanbul University. Currently, I'm working in Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus at European University of Lefke. And while I'm there, I would like to con contribute to the field of public relations with uh, producing uh, research and work related with the uh, Cyprus. Um, I would like to have an overview of my presentation, which is a brief introduction. I, my rationale of the study, my objectives of the study, my methodology, and then I would like to go into the case study that I have conducted, and then there would be room for findings and discussions. First of all, I would like you uh, to think over the, uh, the state, uh, Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus or Northern Cyprus. Currently, I'm living on an island, and there are two communities on that island. Uh, and one part is uh, South Cyprus, where the Greek Cypriots live, and one part of the uh, island is where the Turkish Cypriots live, uh, the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. As we all know that it is not a uh, recognized country and there is a political isolation. Uh, what do we mean by isolation? There are many consequences of that political isolation, but one of them is that there are no direct flights to northern Cyprus where the Turkish Cypriots live. Uh, it's a small island in the Mediterranean, therefore uh, it is not able to develop its economy. Uh, Mainly, uh, it is uh, tourism, and very recently, it has become a kind of an education hub where there are uh, state and private universities. Uh, so uh, there are many international students and also students from the mainland Turkey coming to uh, the island. In my introduction, I would like to give you an idea about uh, a comparison of South Cyprus and North Cyprus in terms of bed capacity and in terms of uh, tourist number. Uh, in South Cyprus, for example, there are three million uh, tourists a year. Uh, in the North Cyprus, that is 4,000 a year. Uh, of the reasons why people visit uh, Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus is that mostly they, the casinos are legal there and, and the tourist population is coming mainly from Turkey. Of course, as we know, we have, there is Sisan and in the north part, there are 27 historical places to see or that are open. What are the objectives of my study? Uh, actually, what I planned to do was to look at the uh, communication activities of five and premium hotels in Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, which are 13 at this moment. The other thing it did that I did in my study was the evaluation uh, of the tourism sector by the opinion leaders in the tourism of Northern Cyprus. And then I have a case study which is related with a recently opened hotel in Northern Cyprus. Uh, why I wanted to work on this? Because in their launch, they, they uh, wanted to do their launch with a celebrity figure. And that celebrity figure, which I will explain later, has caused a crisis. And I will also discuss this impact with you. Uh, it's a qualitative study, and I had three different types of questionnaires. One was addressed to the hotel PR managers. Of uh, 12, only I was able to talk to six. And of the opinion leaders that were given to, to me, uh, I uh, approached only three. I mean, I'm going to share the results of those three. And also Katos uh, Premium Hotel. My scope of questions uh, for the hotel PR managers was especially about their communication structure. I mean, do they have a PR manager? How are they working with the salespeople? Um, about their launch activities, about their promotional activities, about the challenges and, uh, that they encounter uh, by working in a, a five-star hotel. 
And with the opinion leaders, I, did, I had five questions. Development of tourism, role of the government in developing tourism, regional differences, because in the island there are many regional differences, and marketing and branding pr uh, practices. In my case study, I would like to very briefly uh, talk about the hotel. Uh, the hotel has been recently opened on the 20th July 2010. And that date is a very important date in the sense that the hotel wanted to do its launch with the peace operation uh, of the 1974. So it's, uh, they wanted to do the opening specifically on that day. The other information that I would like to give you is related with the founder of that hotel. Uh, that Bose group um, has been working in many different sectors, such as construction, mining, print, media, furniture, but they entered the tourism sector in 2007 as well. Uh, the Kratos uh, Premium Hotel um, is actually uh, working with an outside consultancy in the sense that uh, maybe uh, later today or tomorrow we will have to, we will discuss the PR sector, uh, all, uh, but now that I'm living on an island, uh, I can say that the PR sector, compared to the PR sector or advertising sector in Turkey, has not developed at all. So mostly uh, they are getting services from mainland, from Turkey, and they're working with an outside consultancy from Turkey. Uh, I don't know if you have read it, this in the media, but they wanted to do the official opening uh, with Jennifer Lopez, and they did the contract on the 16th of June. However, uh, Jennifer Lopez uh, did not show up. And there are, uh, I mean, if you read the articles, etc., if you uh, read the what is written in the Turkish uh, newspapers with different political ideologies, you will have a, a more uh, profound understanding of the situation. But um, it has been said that uh, Jennifer Lopez is uh, going there has been prevented by uh, some patriotic uh, activities and especially uh, the uh, activism uh, using the web has been uh, widely used. So, uh, for example, there had been 7,000 electronic mails in one week so that Jennifer Lopez would not go. And uh, she canceled her trip to, uh, to uh, TRNC and uh, the official um, statement uh, was made by her website and uh, there are various opinions why uh, she did not come, but for example, the managers uh, from the hotel representing uh, the hotel, the consultancy or the, manage, uh, the founder said that Jennifer Lopez had the idea that uh, going to Cyprus, traveling to Cyprus is a bit dangerous. There is war going on and it's not a secure place to go on. Sarah, two more minutes. Sure. Um, I have three more slides where I will say that uh, in uh, Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, even though there is this uh, casino and promoting this uh, country with celebrities, international and national, there are other tourism products which would go on, which we could concentrate on. Uh, my uh, qualitative study with the opinion leaders told me that the development of tourism is still at dawn in northern Cyprus. There is no continuity in developing long-term programs and unsuccessful government policies are responsible for that. There is this concentration of tourism in one major city, Kyrenia, and um, casino economy, they find it artificial. They depend to the mainland, which is Turkey. The standard of service is poor. There has to be a lot to do for protecting the nature, and the Cyprus tourism has to find it its own way. In the hotel analysis, the, I have found similarities in communication department structures. Mostly, they use advertising rely on celebrities, both mainland international. And the Jennifer Lopez case has uh, triggered me to ask this question to you and also to myself, is all publicity good publicity? Because if Jennifer Lopez has come to the island, uh, she wouldn't have created that much uh, 
triggering in the media, but by not coming to the island has uh, kind in a way promoted the hotel. Uh, so I'm just, my final slide is, I mean, this is not a recognized uh, country. There are unfair promotions going on, unfairness maybe from the beginning. And my, again, two questions uh, to address to myself and to you for discussion. Maybe uh, there are similarities in islands in many ways. I mean, our tourism issues may be more similar. And my second question is, how can the PR sector help develop tourism sector on the island? Thank you very much for your patience.